Hey guys, ladies here and welcome to the Maya 2012 for Beginners tutorial series and in this first episode we're going to go through the basic navigation and how to move around in the viewports um, so you can see what you're basically doing so once you open up Maya this is what it should look like on default and um, I know it looks all very complicated and fancy and you, it seems like you can easily get lost in here but in reality it's not that bad once you get used to it so the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to create um, two objects so we can demonstrate how to move around and that so what I want you guys to do is just go onto this top tab create and go onto polygon primitives and just click on a sphere alright so once you see that it says drag on the grid but we're not going to do that we're just going to pick a point click and that's it and now we created us a sphere as you can tell and we're going to go on to create polygon primitives and you can pick another object doesn't really matter let's pick a cylinder and we're going to pop that in here like so now I've got two objects what I want to do is I, I want to come closer to this um, cylinder and see what's going on so what I want you guys to do is press 5 on your keyboard like so and as you can tell it changes the shading so if you press 4 that's wireframe if you press 5 that's shaded and we're not going to go through anything else this is all you got to know for now this way it's easier to see what's going on so what I want to do is I just want to come closer to this cylinder the way we do this is the navigation is done by holding down the ALT key on your keyboard so if you hold down ALT key and left mouse click you'll notice that you start rotating your camera around this 3D space so I want to come closer to this cylinder so I'll just move my camera around here like so but now I want to move I want to move the move the camera so it's closer there and you do that by holding down alt key again and hold down the middle mouse click and as you can tell now we start to pan around our camera move it around in this 3D space and then if I hold down left click again I can rotate around but I'm still not quite there yet I want to zoom in or move in closer in my camera and you can do that by holding down the left click again oh, I mean sorry uh, the old key and just right hold down right click on your mouse and drag in this way it will zoom in or move your camera closer to that object and a different way you can do this is if you got a scroll middle mouse button you can just scroll in and scroll out but the uh, holding down the ALT key and right clicking gives you a better freedom of how you move in and out whereas if you hold the if you do it with the scroll as you can tell my mouse it does it in little steps whereas with the ALT and the right click you get more freedom if you only want to zoom in a little bit or a bit more so now what I want to do is just want to rotate around and get closer to that sphere so what I want you guys to do is is uh, you do this with me holding down the old key zoom around rotate around and uh, just try to come in and get close to that sphere so now that we've done that what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the cylinder but an easier way to do this is if I left click that cylinder as you can tell the wireframe is selected and that whole object is selected so once now it's selected if you hold down if you just press F on your keyboard which tends you can remember it by focus or frame if you press F on your keyboard your camera um, focuses on that object and also now that it's selected if you hold down ALT and rotate now as you can tell your camera is rotating around that object also it zooms in and out around that object so it's a lot easier if you just want to spin around this 
object than if you, if it wasn't selected. And the same again for the sphere. I'm just going to select it, press F, and I can rotate it around, see what it looks like, zoom in and out, and all that. Now, what if I wanted to rotate around both of these objects? If I just try to do it now, it doesn't really do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to select both of the objects that you can do by left clicking and um, holding down left click and selecting it with a square or you can click on one of them hold down shift and click on the other one now that they are both selected if I hold down alt press F hold down alt again then it will rotate around them two objects actually it's not around them two objects it's around the point it been, been <coughs> sorry in between the two objects they rotate around so this way I can look at both of them keep both of them in the frame so now that we know how to rotate and navigate around the 3D viewport what we're going to look at is how to navigate or look at different viewports and you can do that by if you just press space on your keyboard right now as you can tell your viewport changed and now you've got four viewports the top right one is your 3D viewport the bottom right one is your side and it tells you that on the bottom with this little writing bottom left one is your front and then the top one is top left is your top view and as you can tell this is all in wireframe but it doesn't really matter for this demonstration so what I want to do now is I want to look at in the side view but I want this to become full screen again so what you need to do is click on that viewport and just press space again and as you can tell you jumped into full screen and you can move around again but let's say I want to rotate as you can tell it doesn't let you rotate it lets you pan around zoom in and out but it doesn't let you rotate in the 2D viewports so that's one thing that you need to keep in mind and now I want to come out press space again and then I want to go into the top viewport again just left click on that press space and now I'm in there and I can again zoom in and out move around but I cannot rotate around so now that we've done that I will just show you another way of how to jump in between the viewports so you might have noticed, noticed that once you press space something pops up and that's the hotbox so if you hold down space and not just press it then as you can tell this all fancy complicated menu pops up but I don't want you to pay attention to all these because we'll have a separate lesson um, that actually focuses on the hotbox in this lesson I'll just show you how to navigate with this so let's say I wanted to go in the side view full screen so I can hold down space click and drag on this Maya icon and as you can tell this new set of menu pops up with my front view top view and side view so if I wanted to go into my side view I can just drag my mouse over it let go of space let go of my mouse and it went into a side view okay so now if I wanted to go back to my perspective view hold down space left click hold it down and then just let go of uh, let go of your mouse and it will jump in so it's a fairly quick way of moving around once you start doing it for a while you'll get used to it so I find that way the quickest to move around in the viewports instead of going like this and jumping in and out I can just go side view front view perspective and I can jump around in between the viewports so that was the hot box now we're going to go through what is the difference between well actually I'll go through with you guys um, about the view, cu view cube first so if you have a look at this little top square right here you get a little cube that says right front top side and you can select the edges and all this fancy stuff it looks um, very simple and it's a fairly simple way to rotate around in your um, 
area so again I can select different views back view the side view front view top view I can also rotate around with these arrows and let's say if I get really lost and oh god I don't know where I am I just want to go back to the default all you can do is click on this little home icon and it will take you back to the default um, view now let's just say on this cylinder I want to look at it from the top so I'll just click on this top view and seemingly oh, it seems like it is really on the top view isn't it but if I go on wireframe as you can see this is still in perspective even though it says it's on the top if I move around a little bit this is still in perspective and now it's not exactly on the top is it because you can see that bottom via uh, line now whereas if you go on the top view and go back to our cylinder as you can do because it doesn't let you rotate and even if you move around it will still be that perfect top view whereas in the perspective mode if you move around a little bit even though let's say I want to be on the top and if I move around a little bit you see it's still in 3D mode so you gotta be quite careful with that and keep it in mind that even if you go on top view in the 3D mode 3D viewport it's still not the proper top view okay if you go on the top view in the top view viewport that will be your proper 2D top okay so that's just I know it sounds complicated but it it really is and once you once we go through and uh, go more in depth with this series it will start to make sense why we use the different viewports and not just uh, go on the side view on this cube and then right that is my side view okay so even if you notice with this cylinder again if I go on the right view and move around apparently I'm perfectly on the right but if I was I wouldn't see this top top edges or the bottom edges if I go on the side view in the proper side viewport as you can see I don't see them top edges I only see you know the side edges alright so that's just one thing that you need to keep in mind so now that we talked about the viewport and the importance of the different viewports I think I'll wrap this episode up and I'll see you guys in the next episode I hope you enjoyed it make sure you hit that thumbs up button and I'll see you guys later